Okay, this girl should be in jail. I know maybe it's a funny skit or something. Just go to jail, honey, please. Now, go. Okay, let's talk about the equivalent of princess treatment for a guy. I would call this king treatment, physical attention, you know, meeting his physical needs regularly and initiating them and keeping it exciting. The second is acts of service, like helping him run his errands, maybe get his car detailed or like make him food, you know, like just take care of your man. And then the third is making sure that his ego is boosted, like hype him up, let him know that he's killing it, let him know that you're proud to be with him and that like he's the only man for you. Ah, you see, so at the end of the day, what she's describing is pretty much not the bare minimum, but it's just common sense. Although if a woman is actually worth it and she's charismatic, smart and she actually likes you, these things will come naturally. So, uh, yeah, it sh the girl wouldn't need to watch a TikTok video on these things. They're forgetting about, you know, that shoulder to cry on. They're forgetting about that sense of union when times get tough. They're forgetting about someone, you know, starts breaking into your home and you're, you don't want to handle that situation. You want your protector guy to handle that situation. Let's be honest. They're forgetting about, well, I'm going to want kids and I'm going to want my kid to have a father a real father and remember you know women and men bring different things to the table dads and moms bring different things to the table yeah but you see a lot of women think that they are the table and their mentality is just all screwed up because they still have that desire to be mothers because that's just a biological need basically and it really is one and their heads are all messed up and then you have a bunch of dudes that are pretty much just left out <laughs> There's nothing more stressful than having a friend who's in love with the broke man. What the fuck? I mean, I'm not saying she a gold digger, but... This right here is a picture of the globe. As you can tell, here's Africa, there's Europe, uh, just past Asia, here's South America. And we're going to look for Ungenapi right here in the world. Uh, doesn't, doesn't look like we're going to find it. Yeah, yeah. How are you... Happily married? Are you trying to get in my business? No, no, no. Answer this question. Are you happily married? Hey, wait, do it. Hold up, please. Thank you. No, no, you hold up. I just asked my wife a question. Are you happily married? Wait, Tanya, that's your husband? It's not that serious. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. I did not answer the question. Hey, what's up, man? She didn't tell me about you. Yeah. Shut the up. Right? Oh. No, she is not happily married. Otherwise, there wouldn't be this situation if she was happily married. Duh. You pay attention to the passport bros, like they're getting women can, that can speak very little English, women that don't have and, education, and not, women that, that need the, them, the women that, that need mm -hmm. They learn everything and, and from, from birth, from their father, from their mother, how to be a wife and how to support your men. Women that need them. It's not even women that need them, it's women that treat them with respect. So we don't... Y'all know y'all don't. So. <laughs> like, stop just yeah, no, don't. Don't. <laughs> You see, just the second she said that, she grinned because she knows it's bullshit and she knows it's true. She knows we, women are aware. They are aware of how they treat men and how men are just pussies that let themselves be treated like that. So it's a lesson in there. Here thinks body count doesn't matter. So body count doesn't matter. What's your body count? <laughs> oh, I'm glass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Into five. the microphone, please. Five. Five. Yeah. Stop the cap. That's the that's the real number. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Two. Two. Yeah, you told us before, right? Yeah. Five. Five. I'm not gonna comment it. You're not gonna tell it. But <laughs> no. I thought you hold on. You just said it doesn't matter. Well, yeah. So why like, why not? I don't think that like a person should be judged on how many people they've been with, or that it should hold any weight in your current relationships and. How Yes, it's a hundred percent sure. How two people feel about each other, you know? Like, but, but why not say it then? If it, if it doesn't matter, be the change you want. Mm -hmm. Five. You know what? There were too many <laughs> fives. <laughs> yeah, all of them were lying. All of them. Yeah, it's not two, it's not five. Maybe the one with two, maybe she's correct. 
they know 100% it matters and you can tell it from their reaction and the girl that said it doesn't matter. Well, your past defines who you are and who you are going to be. It's just the best predictor of who you are as a person and of your future consequences. And if you walked around on the carousel, that's not a good look. Sorry. You see, women buy my food, buy this, buy this, buy this, right? They are all, they are out there just for a free meal. They don't care about you, they don't care about me, they don't care about anything. They are there for attention, for validation, because their brains are fried from so much social media and all this toxic relationship bullshit. And uh, you cannot, you cannot change that. Sorry. You have been dating your girl for however long, five years, yeah. taking her to Turks and Caicos. You open up her phone and you see something from 10 years ago, you're calling it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like dead ass. Yeah. Let okay. me ask you another question then. Good one more time. Another dream scenario. Let's make sure this all makes sense. Let's say you go to a fortune teller. That man of your dreams, you find out five years from now, he's going to be broke, no ability to provide security for you. Alcoholic. He's going to become an alcoholic. Would you stay with him now that you're armed with this information? No. Fantastic. You see. She's telling on herself. She knows that if he doesn't have a future, what's in it for me? This is how women see relationships because they have so much uh, easy access to sex and, you know, cuddles, attention, all that stuff. To them, it becomes a business. It's like, okay, I'll be with this guy. What's in it for me? What's in it for me? Oh, I got a gun. Can we hang out whenever you get back? Yeah. Man, absolutely not. <laughs> no. I'm gonna go up with someone else. Go. <laughs> uh, just, honey, just take the L and move on, please. Leaves you for another guy, you have to completely cut her off. Don't try and get her back. Don't send her a bunch of angry messages. Simply accept that she's moved on and she's no longer interested in you. I don't understand why you'd want to get her back anyway. If she goes for another guy, it's because she thinks that he's better than you. Just forget about it and find someone new. Yeah, but you see, most men don't have the balls to do that. Most men are just pussies. Oh, honey, I love you. I miss you so much. Yada, yada, yada. And they have this irrational desire to simp. Why? Hey Riley, um, I'm good. Just got some bagels and I'm just laying with my dog. Baxter! Get away, Baxter! Ow! Ow! Get off of me! I do want to apologize to my mom because I know I've been a disappointment and you know, I just have to say, thank my mom that I'm doing better now so that I can make my mom proud. I don't mean to cry. Um, but yeah, like I finally left the club, I'm deleting them and I just want to, yeah, just, I learned a lot from Fresh and Fit and it's really, really been better for me. Um, I'm a better woman for it and I hope that you ladies actually take this information and learn from it. And I hope that you actually aren't just hearing it. I hope that you're listening because it's life changing. Besides the ass kissery for Fresh and Fit, which I do admire, I think they've done some amazing things. Um, what's her bank account? My guess is she made enough money, she bought a place or something and I was like, nah, I don't need to do OnlyFans, there's other ways to make money, like, I don't know, appear on, on a bunch of podcasts, maybe dance at the club, you know, 